Right, so here is the kata for today, SQL basics, simple exists. For this challenge, you need to create a select statement that will contain data about departments that had a sale with a price over uh, 98,000. This select statement will have to use an exist to achieve that task. Um, so we have a department, we have sales, um, contain data about departments. Um, so I think we just want this table to return. Oh, well, they tell us ID and name. So this is what we're supposed to return. And then if a price over, I guess it is $98. I thought that was 98,000 for a second. So, um exists um i'm gonna have to pull that up sql exists it's like i've looked that up before um exists operators used to test for the sequence of any records in a subquery so yeah it looks like I do this where exists and then I put in a subquery right here. Um, I just want to run it. So oh, cool. Pretty looks relatively easy. Um, but I want select um, ID name from the Departments. Let's just run this to start from departments. That's incorrect for some reason. But it returns everything, so cool. Now I want to do my um, where exists, where it exists, and now I can put in my subquery. So my subquery query is select um, huh, this is the part I'm a little confused about. Um, select product name and products where the supplier ID Okay, yeah, so I was, I knew, what I was confused about was I knew I was going to need to do some sort of join statement. So here's that join part. So, um, so in this case, it'll be select um, department ID from sales table where now I want to specify that the two IDs are equal to each other. So where departments ID equals sales department underscore ID, and um, I want um, price is they price over ninety eight dollars, so it'll be greater than. Let's try writing this. So cool, now it looks like it ran. And so we're grabbing ID and name from departments where exist. We're grabbing this department ID from sales where these two equal each other and the price is greater than $98. So I think that's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. So cool, that is my solution. Um, what I like about Code Wars is you can see other people's solution. I'm just kind of curious how other people did this. It looks like they just did a little bit of shorthand, but it's, it seems like it's the same thing. Cool, so that's my solution. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.